Before stepping into the portal you make sure you have 5 to 10 beds depending on your one cycle skill level and the way to make slabs. After which you make sure your hunger bar is full, de equip your shield, bring out your beds and craft slabs. Saving at least one pearl or killing the enderman, the manly way, or using a boat is a great optional item to have as it will help you with mobility. The dragon has three states. The first state is called circling, it's when the dragon circles around all the obsidian pillars. Strafing is when the dragon is hunting for you. When she gets in a 64 block radius around you, she will shoot you with a purple ball. This phase ends only if the dragon has taken a shot at you, meaning that you always want to keep a clean LOS for her to hunt you, so that you can end this phase as early as possible. Upon destroying an end crystal, she will enter this state, which you do not want and won't do. Be mindful of the ball's AoE, try not to get shot around the middle as it can completely block you off the exit portal. Perching is the most important state and the moment you kill the dragon. She will go towards the portal exit approaching from the opposite side of the player if possible, then the dragon will descend in circles towards the tip of the fountain. This is the moment you will use your beds for a one cycle kill. Her breath also ignites. Perching happens in a straight 90 degree line or a diagonal 45 degree. If it's straight you will be on the same side as the dragon. If it's diagonal the side doesn't matter and it will be harder to time the beds. That's why I advise you to bait the perch in the 90 degree area. The further away you are from the portal, the lower chance the dragon has to enter straight phase, which in her turn increases her entering the perch phase. Best places are in front of the rings, being further away requires a pearl. You know if the dragon has entered perch phase by her sharply turning towards the fountain. Or if she is already looking towards the portal she will twitch a bit. Be aware of her height as she can perch from a lower point and you might not be able to catch her in time. Raising your elevation is also a way to gain distance and increase perch chance. While you can tower yourself, I recommend using a water bucket to climb up the nearest tallest obsidian pillar from the front for clear dragon LOS, but it requires you to leave your water, MLG it or an ender pearl, after which you continue to build up reaching 123 Y level and the moment the dragon starts circling around the opposite pillar, you go and prepare for a one cycle. Always keep an eye on the dragon as it can purge while you're doing whatever else. If the dragon is close and trying to knock you off, use your water to dodge. The the dragon hitbox consists of tail boxes, big body box, wing boxes, neck and head box. You will be aiming for the head hitbox. The hitbox is also not in sync with the dragon's animations. One cycle means that you will be killing the dragon the moment she purges with the help of your bats. With hitbox on you will time the head with the bat explosion. Jump, put a bat and repeat. Without hitboxes you will stand on the right side of the bed and the moment you see her tail line up with the bed's corner you will commit explosion. There are a lot of practice maps and you usually need a couple of hours to get used to it, more practice for less beds. Also the beds deal half a heart to you. Using a block makes it easier to aim the beds but it has a greater chance of getting knocked off. Meanwhile with the slab it's the opposite. You put them half a block below the torches, you can also pre-place them. If you have managed to save an obsidian block you can use it. Place it next to the tip, make a platform and continue with the normal cycle. Place it diagonally to the tip and continue with the rest. Place it a block above the tip, make a platform, position your mouse so you can simultaneously place beds and commit explosion. A 4 bed strat is possible with obsidian by placing it a block above the tip, you position yourself a pixel off the end of the bedrock block, aim towards the small gap where you will be able to place beds and continue with the cycle. You will have to pre-place it and bait the perch on the same side as the obsidian. It requires solid timing, extreme practice is advised. If you can't get consistent at normal one cycle, easier way to do it is by making this monstrosity. Place a slab above the tip, right click it with water, block yourself in, aim towards the slab and continue with one cycle. You can always finish a failed one cycle if you've gotten the dragon low enough. Run back if you got knocked off, bring out your axe, a bed and a block, prepare a bed near the dragon's head and block the front side of your direction. You can also do it by moving to max distance. Hit the dragon for as much as you think you can, keep in mind that if you do too much damage it will end purge state and right click the bed. This is if not the most important part of not choking as it is literally the end. While the nether is the most RNG dependent and also hardest, you finish the run by killing the dragon. Practice it and learn everything necessary because you don't want to lose your world record to the easiest part in a speedrun. No big deal. Oh, no big deal.